You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream. Live for First Class Sounds, you know who it is. DJ Scream is here. Big Bank is here. Baby Jade is here. El Dorado Red is here. Shot Jones yeah. is here. What's up, Kashizi? Behind the uh, film shit, doing making the shit look right. You know what I'm saying? What's up, everybody? How are everybody feeling? This is Big Fat Fridays, by the way. You know what I'm saying? What's for the that? streets, for the culture. How are everybody feeling today? Got to do that. How are everybody feeling? Check. Make sure everybody good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything good? Yeah, feeling real good. Welcome back, man. Where you been? What you been on, Red? I'm an honorary co-host. There you go. <laughs> but that shit yeah. is um, when the motherfucker be in them fraternities and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm an honorary. Goddamn, um, I'm an honorary. Come up to the mic a little bit. An honorary member. Yeah, I'm an honorary member. Facts. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Born in that. Yeah. So, so what we what we feeling today? Like, what's 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 this nigga about? over here fantasizing about Mary J. Blige and shit? I love Mary J. You know? <laughs> Shout out to Mary. Mary, come to Big Facts and talk. Get to a Mary. room, Golly. <laughs> please. Get a note, Bank. Get this nigga a hug. Bank or probably was. Oh, he probably was say shit the whole hour. She was. <laughs> Mary J. I mean, don't already talk to her. <laughs> but you got to you got to tell him why you really wanted her though, P. I can't break it down. I can't, I can't. Yeah, Mary, it. come on, P. I can't, P. <laughs> they, crazy. they were doing her wrong black. Yeah, they were doing her too wrong. I felt like I, I could save her. <laughs> Bank was also Captain Sable. Yeah, that ain't P. For, that, for, for Mary, what you talking about. For Mary J. Certain, certain people don't know that they need me. So they need me. <laughs> she oh, needed Lord. me. That shit she was singing in them songs. But I think she needed me. You talking about in the, this was late nineties, right? Whenever she put whenever the 90s. Yeah, yeah late oh, She was bro, every street shit. nigga's desire, right? Yes, and then Mary she J. get Blige. on power and she a gangster. I'm like, ah. That should have been us. <laughs> <laughs> but, nah, I love Shout her. out to Mary J. Shout yeah. Out to Queen, though, for real. Like, Queen. For real, for real. You know for sure. Saying? She touch a nigga like, for real, to make you be like, man, I want her. <laughs> that music. Yeah. That then shit I just watched the shit soul. with Puff. And them, they put the My Life shit. You seen that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. The I documentary. Just watched that shit and they were saying, like, how them niggas, them niggas smart as hell, too. Like, he was, he was like, and then he put her with his baby mama, mm. gave her the style, got them took with this writer. You know what I'm saying? Just, mm. created, just created that shit. Like. Mm-hmm. But she, they had to see that in her because she pulled it off. Right. Not for right. real. Yeah. Shouts to Mary J. Open invite big for facts. Big Facts. What's 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 on our heart today? What we want to talk about? What's the topic on Big Facts Fridays? The Red. topic. Oh, you got a topic? Or I was gonna let. No, no, no. Uh, we gonna let do it. But I just, you know, I give you the honor. Good topic. publicity or bad publicity, or is all publicity good? The saying, "All publicity is good publicity." Is tr- facts or nah? No. Facts are kept. Hmm. If you got something to sell, it depends if on your something, perspective. Something behind it, if you have a product, behind it, yeah. If something behind Facts. it, yeah, all good publicity. Good, uh, all Facts. Publicity, Facts. Because it's because it's not technically. If you have a product, it's not technically like bad publicity. Technically, wouldn't be publicity. It'll just be bringing attention to whatever it is that you're trying to sell. That's, that's publicity, though. Yeah. And no, but what bad. I'm saying is like. It, it it's not good or bad. It's just attention to your product that is basically. Marketing and advertising for free. If you look at it, yeah. Your haters are your biggest marketing team. So yep. I'm gonna I'm I'm go, 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 go to where my yes. mind will go. The biggest publicity, if you're a rap artist, is probably getting shot. Right? Nah, shooting a nigga. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Nah, they done kind of made it where the victim be yeah. bigger than the shooter. Think about shit. it. Go back to my, you get you one of them free ones. Yeah, if you do that, that's like Get you the, on the free one. That's the, that's the top, top. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah. just saying. Not shooting a nigga and going to jail. Yeah, I got them going to jail. I'm just saying like. Right. So that's considered definitely publicity, but is it good or bad? It ain't good for, for, for the motherfucker who done got shot. Right. But I mean. But the world we living in now, like doing something like that will boost you through the roof. Getting shot or doing the shooting will boost you through the roof. We've seen it. Right. Any type of thing. Any if you type, survive. Any type of. Thing is, yeah, gonna I guess. keep you in the blogs, bro, or whatever, whatever the fuck that make you popular. A lot of artists you wouldn't have never know who they was unless nothing happened to them. You, your character has been exposed. Not even that. What if because it's, it huh? be. what if it's false allegations? And we've seen that too. False allegations is false allegations. Yeah, but we it's gonna ride to nothing up. anyway. That shit gonna go to nothing anyway. But what I'm saying, okay, false allegations could put you up against, and probably afterward you'll be bigger than ever. It though. depends on the type of false allegation. If it's like some sexual shit, or you like, 
you did some shit. Uh, that allegation was, so, I'm gonna just, I'm just throw it out. I'm just throw it out there. Uh, allegation ain't nothing if it ain't proven. I'm gonna just throw it out there. Michael nah, Jackson. but Michael that, Jackson. but nah, like that shit didn't hurt Michael Jackson at all. It was too late. It came. How? Out. He was I ain't saying it did. The folk got money. They don't even know like what. But I just watched. Was, what, I just watched that Janet documentary, and he pretty much said it. It hit him because it, it fucked with his character. He was on his way out. He was on his way out. So it's like you know they they gonna go on and tell you down for you going out. We ain't gonna let you be a legend. R. Kelly. R. Kelly over. Oh, he has not been convicted yet. But yes, she, he, he has been condemned. He's not, he's not been convicted. That's, what, that's what we're saying, They have though. not said guilty. That's if Keller was out, still on trial, saying, right? He locked up. That's a different one. Locked, once you locked up, you're fucked up. Yeah. Or you're dead, you're gone. What about Bill But if you, if you, <laughs> if you, I'm just saying, real nigga shit. If this oh, nigga, if you're dead, you're gone. If you're dead, you're gone, so it don't matter. Publicity don't matter. He locked up. If he was on the streets, still writing them songs and shit, still putting out them hits, he wasn't counseled. And they were saying it. What? What the fuck with it? How is that hurting him? Yeah, that's a, that's a point. Yeah, that's a point. But financially, do you think R. Kelly streams went up or down? But they, they said that shit went up. They went up, went up they right? Went up. So they that was that so good or bad. For somebody else. So good or bad, yeah. it was free marketing. Yeah, all free publicity. Uh, all, all publicity, good or bad, is publicity. I it think depends that's on the not. Situation you you can't debate that. It is definitely publicity. I think the fact comes down to: is it? Good or bad, meaning as in, okay, definitely you get your money from the music, but you might lose. Let's just throw it out there, the baby in that whole situation, he lost a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? That's great publicity as far as he's more. Everybody knows him. The shit was on CNN. You see what I'm saying? So he, but he's but, 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 but but these folks had to double back because I just saw where he's performing next week in Portugal at Rolling Loud. I just said where they just few, where they pulled him off. I said a few minutes ago, like on the front on the front end. I think it could fuck with you, but on the back end, if you survive, you'll be bigger than ever. That's I just what I'm said saying. That. Like, yeah, if you sure. don't survive, it's just key. Too. That's what I'm just that's saying. If you surviving you is the key, survive. you have to survive that shit. Yeah. It depends on the position. It depends yeah. on if you ain't locked up or fucked up, shit, or dead. You can, and you, you still surviving it. Mm -hmm. Right? How is it bad? What if you lose something dear to you? Like in what? The process. Like your wife or your, your family wife, exactly. or some shit. Is like worth it? I mean, you get caught. Publicity. But shit, if them, look, I look at it like this, right? Man. If them folks hey, leave, if I get caught in a scandal and the bitch gone, she was trying to go anyway. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what like, kind of scandal? <laughs> if I, you saying if I ain't do it? No, she just needed a not, reason. If I on, did it. She tape. just needed a reason. You been doing shit. <laughs> what? No, that's how I look at what? it too. Like, <laughs> like if they if you they been leave doing shit. if they leave because you're yeah, you're real. tied up in a tight situation or you're in a bad spot or whatever, yeah. then they were never with you to begin with. I just okay again. Nah, he's saying like if a, a bitch go to the block, like yeah, have me like right down next to her, and then Shantae Lee. Well, who had uh, Kevin Hart? Kevin Hart. Happened to Kevin Hart. Yeah. He, his girl left. She didn't she leave. Left, well, she left for a second, but she, she left came for a second back. She came back. All right, because at the end of the day, it's going to seem different because you feel like everybody know. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it, it's the same shit. But in a situation like that, when she leaves for a second, as a man, do you accept her back? If you now, I don't want to keep, keep putting names out there. It depends on the leader because yeah. you went outside. Like, yeah, you she went outside. Yeah. You outside. You go outside. You go outside. But if you didn't yeah. go outside, I don't know. If you just left because you was mad and you said fuck if you, you went for a minute. If you just went and snuck I'm going to go ahead and say this. It's kind of like, it's kind of like the. But if you came outside, though. <laughs> Stay your ass outside. It's wait, like the, wait, wait, wait. Uh, What's the difference, Bank? The difference is. It's a big difference. If you sneak off and fuck to clear your mind or whatever you had to do, like fuck that, I'm going to go get some get back in my mind and my heart. My friends know. But everybody else don't know. Uh huh. But if you start the goddamn shit, I'm outside. You in nigga section and doing all this shit, and <laughs> I'm outside. You <laughs> gonna stay outside? Hey, cause if I don't know it, I don't know it. Okay, I get. But what you if you find be... out? What you mean? Like some random shit. Like if you find out, if you find, out. if you find out, then it becomes disrespect. Yeah. But we ain't going to disrespect but nobody in no else form. Don't, nobody no else don't. Nobody else don't know. But, but it's still disrespect. Though once I find but out, but shit, if don't nobody you else know, how the hell you find out? Not find out. But if she find out, that means you disrespected her. Facts. I ain't saying how another motherfucker supposed. To, she need to handle it. She need to handle it. I'm talking about me and my morals. <laughs> what? But she's supposed to stay loyal. I don't say what a motherfucker's supposed to do, Sha. I'm saying you do what you supposed to do. I'm just saying you know you're gonna do what you're supposed to do <laughs> on huh? your terms, not on mine. But y'all just said if she leaves, she was never supposed to be there. Regard, I mean, she wasn't supposed to stay regardless. She wanted to leave regardless, right? right? You yeah, you for just sure. said if you cheated and the bitch leave, 
she wanted to leave regardless. Yeah. That was your point, right? No, that is Wait, no, absolutely false. No, 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 no. That's false. what Banks said. That's what Banks <laughs> no, said. No, I'm saying. I didn't say that's that what I cheated. said. No, you no, forced no, out. That ain't what I'm saying. Listen, 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 listen. I said if I cheated and it hit the blogs and shit. Allegedly. And she leave and if she leaves. You want to leave it anyway. That's how I feel. You said, you say allegedly. I've been in a situation where I've got caught in, up in shit, and you didn't leave. Okay. So, so if your pride, if it's pride, it's pride that made you leave. So okay. you want to leave anyway. Okay. So she stays. She loyal, right? I can't say what she is. Oh. She could be with me and not be loyal. What are you talking about? Mm. But my she can be with me and have a whole dick in her mouth when she go to work. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's a touche. Come on. And for the big fast, the women for the, on earth. For the big fast Bible, be <laughs> clear that about? Bank don't want to know. But you act like there's <laughs> other women out there other than bitches. He just said bitches are the slickest women on earth. The slickest people you on funny earth. funny as hell, man. Just saying like, but you don't never know. But what I'm saying is you saying if you, if, if you ch catch I'm her cheating, I'm saying what I'm going over. for and what I'm not going for. That's it, shy. I ain't saying nothing else. I can't put he no said, morals in you. He can't tell I'm her what, what to go I'm going for and what, for and what I'm not going, going for. for. He can't if tell you me. need to go get your rocks off on some sneaky shit, hey, you better goddamn go fuck a nigga in Augusta that work, work for goddamn anyway. Nobody don't know him. He don't know me. <laughs> so it don't get back. If he get back, then that's what we deal with. It. Right. I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, he's making sense. I don't know what else to say about it because I can't he be said, mad at you if you, you didn't disrespect me. He said you can't mm -hmm. tell people how to react to nothing. I mean, that, that, really, that from top sense. to bottom, everybody in here might react differently to something. Because everybody shit. in here has been through different situations, right, and reacted differently. That make probably. them have a different thought process. But this was shit I was doing when I was a young nigga. I, I, I come in on some young shit. You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, and I went through too much shit. Like we went through too much shit together. It's like that we probably both walked away from. But we didn't. So shit, hey, it's a line too. Like I ain't saying I'm finna go out here and get caught up in no shit. Hey, now we we grown as fuck now. So if I get caught up in the shit and you, if nobody don't know and you just know and you decide to leave, okay, you got tired of that bullshit. Mm -hmm. I respect that. Right. Yeah. But you get caught. Up, I don't give a fuck what you do. You do some shit that I feel like I don't respect, or you got to be able to respect that I can't deal with that. Mm -hmm. Cause you want you want me to be in a relationship with you. With malice in my heart. Mm -hmm. That's what people do. That ain't gonna work. Even friends, niggas will do that, knowing like I don't really fuck with this nigga. Yeah, mm -hmm. but due to the fact Facts. that I need this nigga, I'm yeah. mm -hmm. finna kick Facts. this mob shit. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But really, I don't fuck with you, so they're gonna grow, 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 grow to explode. Then when it explode, it's resentment, like we yeah. talking about last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna resent me because I never yeah. really fucked with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you be. But I just needed you. And yeah, then you, you be wondering why you be taking losses and bad shit be happening. You got this mm -hmm. fucked up ass energy. Around. Facts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The whole time this nigga goddamn can't any time accomplishment. Nigga acting like they cheering you on, but the whole time nigga wondering why they ain't this Facts. and that. No, you right. Facts. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So that yeah, that's a fucked up situation. That's what I'm saying. So it is what it is. Like you try to, like I ain't gonna never beg nobody to be with me, stay with me, or don't leave. I never said those words Ever. in my life. Never mm -hmm. will. Because I want what want me. Mm. I'm not in the in the league of convincing you to fuck with me. You gotta go where you're celebrated you. and not tolerated, like. Like Kevin said, for I'm real. Bitch, no nigga. That's why I ain't, I ain't having conversation to be like, man, but did, man, but, man, fuck all that. Mm -hmm. It that, it that. That's where they gonna stay. Facts. Give a damn who you is. It can be goddamn Barbara <laughs> Atkinson, <laughs> my mom. <laughs> Shut up. Real shit. If she <laughs> feel like dude. she don't wanna talk to me, I love you to death. Call me when you wanna talk. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't force nobody to, to feel no type of way. This is the truth. You get what I'm saying? Some G shit, you can't, like, because all you're doing is making, you pushing yourself, you're going to make them folk hate you, bro. Mm. They'll make it worse. So you're in the meantime, Because if, if, if I'm around you playing like I fuck with you, what going to make me not take my opportunity to fuck over you? As soon as I get it. Uh, the yeah. opportunity. I'm around you every day, Jay. I don't fuck with that bitch. But I'm in the car with you. And you just show me shit. I got three hundred thousand in the bag. I gotta take such a. I'm finna run in here and, and got down drop the uh, Jada cakes off, mm -hmm. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on that. <laughs> so you better get the folks old up around you, yeah. man. No, for real. No, you're right. Real shit. Facts. No, that's big facts. Oh, but back to it. What you say? Yeah, what we say? Publicity. Publicity. All yeah, publicity. Certain yeah. publicity ain't going gonna, ain't gonna to work out. No, nah, I'm going to tell you something. It depends on the type of person you is and the morals that you're standing on. Mm. 
That makes sense. Like my boy. Can your character like my boy from survive Tennessee? the scam? Buck. Okay. Like Buck used a gangster. Everybody used a gangster. So this shit that happened, it wasn't good publicity because nigga looking at it like, you supposed to be a gangster. How you doing this? And lying. That's how people feel. Mm. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But if it was a, a nigga who, who have that type of characteristic, or well, I can see that. Mm-hmm. Niggas most feel like that because nigga couldn't see that. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't see that on bro. I fuck with bro. Right. You get what I'm saying? But then when it, it happens, like, whatever happened, niggas go take that shit for like. You get what I'm saying? Like you're a fraud. Mm-hmm. Like certain niggas, certain niggas tell you be like, I know he was gonna tell. Big fat. I just <laughs> feel like your character gotta be able to survive this. Yes. Scandal. Survival mm-hmm. is the key to this. If yes. it ain't survival. true. Survival. Because a nigga, a motherfucker, we done seen plenty of situations where street nigga, stand up nigga, whoever nigga that supposed to be solid, like some allegations might arise, but depending on your character, you know what I'm saying? If you could survive the scandal. They navigate that shit. Yeah, yeah if you could survive, because you know, the lie or the truth gonna always rise to the top. Right. Mm-hmm. It could be the, it could be perceived that the truth when it first hit, because you know what I mean? It gotta take a little process. To weed out the bullshit, like right. I feel like you know I what I mean. Feel like you can only you can if some shit false, you can only make it true yourself. Yeah, mm. yeah. By fucking with it, you know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. If a nigga come in that motherfucker and say, "Boy, you got on a red hat," and I know my hat white, what am I supposed to? I supposed to go back and forth him? Nigga, that's a white hat. What's that, hat, nigga? <laughs> Just saying, hey, they need to get this man some help. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know my hat white. He know he lying. I know my hat white. Or something wrong with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, right. Now I'm a bitch too. Yeah, you give, yeah. It, you give it an energy. Yeah, like, fuck all that, Brody. Yeah, that's a good point, though. I think a lot of these a lot of these artists coming up, too, nigga need to take a page out that book right there as far as not giving shit energy. You can't. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You, you can't, bro. You would draw more of the lie to you to where, you know what I mean? And then if you give if you give certain shit energy, and it depending on what type of person you is, you're going to give it the wrong energy and put yourself in a fucked up situation. Yeah. But, you got niggas every day wake up right now nah, that don't fuck real. with me to this day. These niggas feel like... They magi- They feel like they some uh, what you call them, uh, magicians. Like they know magic. For today's trick, <laughs> trick bank off the street. Man, the <laughs> Up in the man. trick, this nigga out his position. <laughs> Real shit. Motherfuckers, bitches too. They think they magicians. Like, yeah. For my next trick, <laughs> <laughs> trick this nigga off the street. <laughs> nah, king, queen, bitch. But you know, you know what it is. We and not not to keep not to keep not to keep bringing up the same <laughs> word. But the reason people, whether they rappers or not, react is because the ego is a powerful. Yeah, moment. but yeah, yeah, but if you a celebrity, you, you know the ego. No, I did I this shit before. Get, I get it. I'm just telling like, you, bro. We're, we're talking know, about the why, yeah. bro. When internet first came out, bro, them niggas to tell you, bro, them niggas like probably thought I was the lamest fuck nigga in the world. Cause I used to be like cussing. It, these niggas like they were my kid, like bro, get out that lame ass shit. I had to make it. This get was my space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is my space in Twitter. Mm-hmm. Like bro, that shit, y'all nigga, that shit gonna fuck y'all niggas up. Mm-hmm. Like cause niggas, I seen niggas getting too far in their feelings in that shit. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, back. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, hell nah. Like look what these niggas said. Nigga really, really nut up about this shit. So I'm like, man, niggas just need to stay out that shit. Then I get on this shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen years later, I get on this shit. <laughs> First time a nigga say something about me on the internet, I want to go back and forth. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. certain shit, you just got to, you can't allow yourself, bro, no matter how you feel, bro. You got to take 10 seconds to take think 10 about it. 10 seconds to think mm. about it. 20, All 20, that shit 20, a double-edged sword at the end of the Yeah, day. because you're going to be- The publicity you, and the fucking internet. Yeah, because nah, see, but, but, like, when I you- I want the publicity. Talk about me. I don't give a fuck. Any nigga that feel like you trying to come up, you trying to get some, say bank name. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to say shit. Say my <laughs> name. I'm cool with that. Because I get what you're trying to do. But what I'm saying is, I'm not finna sit and go back and forth with you, because then that put me- a, a red nose on too. Yeah. Mm. yeah. You get what I'm saying? Cause now it's two sides. You done joined the circus. Yeah, now, yeah, now it's two mm. sides. Now motherfucker get to see. Shit, but it look like you telling the truth. Yeah, he a bank, why bank say something if it if it ain't true? Mm-hmm. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So think what you want to think. Cause it don't matter what I say, you still already think what you want to think. Period. Right. Yeah, but even like going back to what Rado was just saying about like giving certain shit energy or whatever, when you give negative shit energy and you give like negative shit attention you're distracting yourself from the energy that you're supposed to be diverting to the positive shit and trying to elevate and all that other shit so it's like 
you paying attention to this shit over here, this negative shit is going to fucking basically, for lack of a better way to put it, rob you of your blessings because God is going to look at it like you don't understand that you're supposed to be focusing on this over here and not this. Well, you're not ready for this over here, so I'm going to just take it away and let you deal with this over here until you figure it out. No, it's a such thing called it should die or it should let go. It should, it's, 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 a, it's a deity, y'all ain't with, but it's a trickster. Yeah. It, it give you good and bad. Like, mm. I'm going to see if you're going to go for this. If you, because I'm about to, I'm about to give you everything you asked for. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to send this out there and see if you're ready. Test. You right. ain't ready. You mm -hmm. just reacted to that for that. Mm -hmm. Right. Test. Then at the same time, you could be in a position of, because the internet is everything. It's, Social media shit is everything. So you could be in a position of a motherfucker saying, to Monday morning, I'm going to call a uh, stream and say, I want him to do this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And this could be some shit life changing for you and your family. Mm -hmm. But Sunday night, Sunday, Sunday night. night, you back and forth with some niggas. Yeah. And niggas like, damn, he let that get him in these emotions. Can't call him Monday I can't morning. call him with this big ass shit. Yeah. Because what ready. if that happened again? He not ready. Right. Yeah. yeah. You're right. He going to run the money off. Coca-Cola, Pepsi, all them folk like that, they looking at that shit like, that's a liability. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You might get some nigga money, some little nigga money, clubs right, and shit. Right, right, but right. you ain't even get no real money when niggas feel like you'll go out your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's some real shit, though, what you just spoke on. That's the truth, bro. Get what? That's nigga a lot of training. That, that come with training, that, too. And living. Me, too. I yeah. ran all the money off back in the day. I had to run that shit off. Nah, yeah. I had to it's learn. Different. I had it's to learn. Though. like. Yeah. Don't even, this don't even feed. Don't cherry even. chucks. Yeah. <laughs> shit smoking. Mm, smoking cherry chucks, you a dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, this shit smoking, but. Yeah, but basically, um, to, just to take another page out, out that book right there, it's just like, you know, you are whatever you eat. So if you eat or feed into that type of energy, you, that's, you are what you eat. You feeding into the shit, you and know what I mean? And what you put out, though. And what you put out. I was just finna say that. And what you put out, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Everybody, everybody diet is different, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't just mean like your physical diet. I mean like your spiritual diet. Like what you, what you, what you, uh, what you allow your eyes to see. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I got to a point where like certain shit come on the TV now. I don't even watch that shit. Me too. Like, mm -hmm. if it's certain shit. Me too. Cause yeah. I, 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 I I understand that my mind and my, and my mind is connected to my spirit. Yes. My mind is like a download, like a computer. So whatever I see, whatever I I indulge, whatever I read is gonna download to my mind first, then to my spirit. Your subconscious is gonna yeah. Process subconsciously, it. even if I don't want to think about that shit, I'm gonna be thinking about it. If it's in your it. face, you're yeah, not gonna be able if to. If I don't sit down, watch it, or or digest it mm -hmm. subconsciously, I don't already downloaded it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I see some bullshit and I know I don't want that shit in my in my in my mental diet or my spiritual diet, I'm gonna meekly switch, you know what I mean? Yeah. And go to some shit that I really need to die. That's the same shit we were talking about the other day about rejecting the negative thoughts. Yeah, hell yeah. You are what you eat. You know what I mean? You whatever push you feed that shit your, back, like whatever you feed your your body, whatever you feed your mind, whatever you feed your spirit, that's what you is. You know what I mean? Cause mm -hmm. you consuming that shit. And whatever you consume the most of. That's what you that's is. That's what you become. Whoever you hang with the most, that's what the fuck you Real is. Shit. You hang with five bum ass, broke ass mm -hmm. nigga. You mm -hmm. the six. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? You hang with five millionaires. If you not a millionaire already, you on your way to be one. Thank Cause you. ain't no way you gonna sit around them every day and, and digest big, all that shit and yeah. not find a, the way. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I strongly believe in that shit. Like whatever you Not you shit. are, what you eat. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, bro. Where we come from and shit, bro, it's like, because I remember how I, I used to think, they got to unlearn, bro. That's the word. That's the nah, word. Facts. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, got to yeah, unlearn yeah. certain shit. You told me that a couple weeks ago. That's real. And they got to unlearn certain shit because certain shit, you'll think you standing on some morals, but really you being stupid. I hate the hood, man. Yeah. I'm going to say that shit. Fuck all that hood. Gangsta it's shit. The I hate them. I hate, I love like my upbringing and like the community and shit, but to keep it real, just, all the shit I've been through as a as a as a black man, you know what I mean. I I feel like I feel like the trenches took our innocence, man. Mm. That shit took our innocence, yeah. my nigga. Mm. I but seen bro, shit and it, shit and got bro. exposed to shit. You, like yeah. I was saying, you are what you see. Right. You know what I mean? That I shouldn't have been exposed to, my nigga. You know what I mean? So yeah. by being exposed to that shit, because that's why it's so good to attain wealth and 
and make sure we doing this shit for our kids, kids, so they don't have to be in the same environment that took our innocence. You know what I mean? Shit, if I ain't growed up in Ridgecrest, I ain't no telling what I could have became. But I learned, I didn't, I had to learn what I seen. So now I'm a grown ass man trying to unlearn all this shit. Got trying to down, un, get, reprogram, reprogram my mm -hmm. motherfucking um, mental computer. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? To whereas my son, he ain't gonna have to worry about that. Y'all ain't seeing nothing but suburban area. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Everything he gonna be exposed to, you know what I mean? Like I don't want him to lose his innocence at ten. I don't want to see. I don't want him to see, uh, Mr. Mr. Charles like I used to see at ten. First time I ever seen a, a junkie smoke the straight shooter. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the hell are you smoking? You know what I'm saying? Or, or goddamn, uh, uh, you know, being exposed to a murder. You know what I'm saying? Body, at, yeah. at, at twelve years old in my neighborhood, actually seeing, you know what I mean? Somebody laid out because they done been gunned down. That shit, you know. It chip away slowly but surely as you get older. It desensitizes you. It didn't make you callous. Mm -hmm. Desensitized, like you said. Mm -hmm. To what shit? By the time I turned 15, 16, I'm ready. Fire one of y'all nigga ass up too. And that shit ain't Because it's normal now. Yeah. Shit, this shit normal now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? To where it's like shit. Maybe if I ain't grow up around this shit, I'd be like, guns? Hell no. I don't want no guns. <laughs> like, what? Well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But shit, growing up. In, 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 in the environment that we grow up in, shit, that shit desensitize you to that. Yeah. We really outside trying to goddamn sneak shoot in the air, even if we just shooting in the air, just to practice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because this the environment that, that we, we come up in. So I really like, shit, as I got old, I really realized, like, shit, that shit really fucked up. Only reason nigga was there because of the economic choices that our, our parents probably made. Mm -hmm. They won, you know what I mean? Economically, you know what I'm saying, on a top tier level to where we ain't have to be raised there. We we yeah. had to be raised there. They didn't know about credit. They didn't know yeah. about like, you know what I'm saying, all the other shit. So yeah. all that shit is is important to me now, you know what I'm saying, as, as an older nigga now to fall to myself to break that cycle. You know what I'm saying? I don't mm -hmm. want my, my kids growing up in the same environment. You know what I'm saying? Nigga Devin can get stuck, bro. Get your mind can be stuck and you won't even know it because you thinking like it's so many different reels. And I used to be like, bro, one way would be real. How? When you weren't taught that way. You were taught to be how you are. So however you are, that's your real. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Every nigga got a different definition. Everybody got a different definition of real. And how you going to say that they being real if they ain't doing nothing fake? Right. The realest shit is just being yourself. That's what I'm saying. That's the realest mm -hmm. shit. Like, but I'm saying, like, some people feel like uh, that ain't real. Mm-hmm. Because he made a choice for his life. Mm -hmm. What's real? How that? How that's fake though? What's fake about it? The, 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 I think the hood and the streets and all that shit come with a lot of peer pressure too. I'm just saying in the world, like in shit. the world in general, like we were talking about breaking up early. If you just say, if 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 I just said, okay, we just wake up one day and be like, you know what, you ain't did nothing to me or nothing, but I'm finna go on all my life. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. What if you born into it though? What, what, what? But what if you, what if you, what if you, yeah. what if you born into it though? A lot of people. Are. What I'm what saying is, if, 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 if I say today, if I wake up today right now and be like, I ain't, bro. I just don't feel the big fat shit no more. I'm through with it. Y'all mm -hmm. put somebody right there. How y'all gonna be mad at me and say I ain't real? Well, that's what you chose to do. But what if you are born into? Right. Well, How? What, what I'm saying. I'm my decision. But, but I'm saying, what if you are born into? Like a set, yeah. a set or a hood in California or LA, you're born into it. You have no choice but to. You can't make you that decision. You always got a choice. How the hell you can't make that? Every decision? day you wake up, you got a chance or a choice. So I know, I know, I know people that um I got real close friends and close ties to people in California, Compton, LA, and some of them involved in that, and some of them grew up right there, and it's not involved in mm. that. Okay. Grew up right on the set, right on the turf. You know, that might be they ties or they alliances. Like, shit, if my uncle and my brother and my dad and all this come from this hood right here, of course I'm going to have ties to it, mm -hmm. but they not active members or actively doing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some of these niggas done went to college and everything. I know personally. So that showed me, you know what I'm saying, that it don't that don't really, because you born into something, you know what I mean? You got a choice. You got to be active. Well, yeah, that, you got I, a choice to whether you're going to uphold whatever it is you're born into. I could be born in a fucking... Cecilia Mafia. That don't mean I want to be a Don, or that don't mean I want to be a part 
of this culture. I got a choice to be like, well, shit, that's what my parents and my grandparents did. I don't want to do that shit. And it doesn't make you any less of a man or any less of a person. Because at the end of the day, you have to live with your decisions. But you be looked at as a black cat, though. Yeah, like, and it's like you be you be like, you be casted out though. That's it's something yeah. like in that mob shit. Like yeah. like like look Anthony. Uh Michael's son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. he wanted to be yeah. a singer and all yeah. that shit. But it was, we talking but, about the but, Godfather, y'all, for y'all. But he had, y'all that don't know what we're talking Michael about. Michael was stuck in his way at first until he got older and he unlearned, like, really, I need to let him just do it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Well, well, let's do a real life shit. Like, okay, the movie good, but real life. John Gotti Jr. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He got to a point where he said, look, this ain't for me. They got the videotapes of surveillance when he was going to see um, his dad, John mm-hmm. Gotti, and he was saying, you know, I'm I'm done with the life. And his dad was saying, you know, don't let him make you into a, a basically a, a, a bitch. A you, bitch. Know, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. you born into this, you know what I mean? He didn't never unlearn. Yeah. He, he was close to the till he died. He died in his cell like that. Yeah, close yeah. to the But the son was like... Nah, Dad, you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand I'm born into this, but this ain't. I wanna know, go a different path. I wanna go a different way. But sir, he put he, he put his understand. time in. Yeah. But after a while, when he when he realized, like, shit, you my dad, you my hero who I look up to, but you finna die in a cell. I and don't this ain't working for me. That. This yeah. ain't working for me. Yeah. You yeah. probably built like that, Pop. You know what I'm saying? Not. You the real one. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but niggas can't even accept that. So it like, you People know. People can't accept that when they cause because they because it be their morals and codes that they trying to make you uphold. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. just like if you have a kid exactly. and you know your son saying? turns exactly. out to be gay. That nigga ain't got to get out of my house. <laughs> nah, yeah. No, nah, I mean, I mean, he turns out to be, you know, a different way than what you are. It's like some people are so, like, stuck on the, like, taking the African-American culture, for instance, like, the real nigga, you know, we don't do that, da-da-da, whatever, whatever, till it's like, you gotta understand, not necessarily. I don't want to say that unlearn some shit. Too. Mm-hmm. You can love your child, but if I if it's my house, I pay the rules. His ass ain't gotta stay there, dude. If he a kid, oh if he, oh you saying if he yes. a kid? <laughs> the world different, man. I can't even really just even go into that shit. That shit, that shit yeah. fucked up, right? Yeah, shit. yeah if he a kid, yeah. that's different, like man. If niggas got different. you know. I thought I you mean be, like I used grown to be. Or see, shit. I'm saying it used to be me, bro. That be the nigga like hell no, nah, hell no, nah, you supposed to do it like this. Mm-hmm. No, you can't. If, if that shit ain't clicking, bro, it ain't clicking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because you making a motherfucker look at you like, damn. But nigga, I'm trying to tell you when we did it like that, that worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For you. Mm-hmm. Right. Like that's why they have creative directors and all this shit. But you can't force that you can't shit. Can't force. Mm-hmm. That's that's you what can't it's coming force back it, to. Bro. Don't force. Shit. You can't force it when you see a person that that's what they really want to go do that. You gotta let them folk do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if not, anything else they gonna after trying, trying to force to do this. them. They're going to find yeah, their they, way back to that. Anyway. And they're going to feel unhappy trying to Or they're going to sneak and go do yeah. that, whatever that is. You know and I mean? that's going to fuck up y'all's relationship. Like, this crazy, bro. Like, little. Like, you know, I put them in suburbs, all that shit, early, when they were early, early, six, seven years old. So around 10, 11 shit, I'm starting to find little 380s and shit <laughs> in the nigga room and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Damn, like what? What the fuck I supposed to say and do? Like, you know what I'm saying? He going mm-hmm. to school, got like, look, you know the kind that ain't even probably gonna shoot. Mm-hmm. The little silver, you know, with the white <laughs> yeah. helmet, with yeah. the little click on the side, yeah, shit, yeah, bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, that little, that pocket rocket, yeah, yeah. That shit, they call eighty dollars now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Hey, what you doing? You know, first time, oh, punch him out and shit. Cool. Fast forward. Two, three more years, like 13. Now you got them, they in the school saying, y'all niggas got them script to me. But I'm thinking, okay, these niggas doing this shit that they hearing in the music from from me. Yeah. I can come home all day and say, don't do it. Don't do it. Nigga, this shit fake. You ain't never seen Alley Boy rob nobody. You ain't never seen Alley Boy kill nobody. This is fake. Cause he was gone off the alley. Mm. Like gone, like shit, he mobbed. You know what I'm saying? He gone. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that boy. DTV. 12 years old. Them niggas laying, up, laying on their pillow listen to that shit. <laughs> so I'm like, after a while, I was like, damn, just let it. Damn, I'm disappointed. Mm. Like, in my feelings about how, what choices a nigga make. Okay, you turn 15, now you got to go to juvenile two, three years, whatever. So you get out of jail. He got down, got a GED and shit, juvenile. 
Get out of jail. You about 17, 18 now. Got down, Shante got down. You need to go to this community college, all this shit. So got down. I'm knowing nigga ain't gonna go, so he he go to the fake college shit. But the whole time, the whole time, I'm knowing this nigga ain't gonna go, cause I pop up on day, they up there. Like they let us out early, but you ain't even never went. <laughs> <laughs> so it came up to some shit like some books. I think they book ended up being like 18, 1900. So I hit the nigga, I was like, before I pay for these books, is you, you, what you finna do with this shit? Mm -hmm. You 18, no, I ain't finna do that shit with your mama all that, like I'm trying to good pay off your ass. What mm -hmm. you doing? Mm -hmm. Like, man, I ain't going that shit. Them niggas, I'm, I'm thinking about 17, them niggas, I ain't going that shit. Like, cool. Now I'm finna let you sit around and listen and learn, because I know what you think you're gonna be on. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather you sit around me or be had the access to be around me instead of me trying to be like, I ain't on certain shit being a hypocrite. Yeah. I'd rather let you come around and see certain shit, see what type of, okay, you finna, you finna witness everybody cares. I let them do this all their life. Mm -hmm. That probably fucked them up. Like, you in the car with me, little bit of that boy, six, seven years old, your brother, three, whatever. All the way up, y'all in the car, he in conversation, over conversation, ain't hiding nothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ain't hiding nothing. So this whole time, what y'all niggas is able to see is characters. Y'all see each person and how they turned out mm -hmm. 20 years later. You get what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. So now you know, like, if your friend remind you of this nigga, cut his ass you know off. he a hoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If your friend remind you of this nigga, you remember he told. Mm -hmm. If your friend remind you of this nigga, remember he backed those niggas. Mm -hmm. You right. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like indirectly, without even saying like, you know how nigga be like, shit, not like, you know what I'm saying? Stories and shit, like, I don't say around the boy. Nigga said, nigga. Mm -hmm. I remember Shouty used to be like, man, you got them niggas. Bruh, you gonna fuck around and got them. Hey, they already own that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, this is how the world is to me, yeah. and I can't I can't say for nobody else how they supposed to do whatever. But mm -hmm. to me, I felt like you was gonna try to emulate what I do so bad, or emulate what you what because it was already it's the fight. Once you see that fire in that nigga, it's already there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't put it out. I don't give a fuck who you is. I was that same nigga. I'm yeah. too intrigued into this. This it. Mm -hmm. So at least I'm gonna let you see then. See how this shit go. Mm -hmm. You see this nigga just died. This nigga done got killed. This nigga gonna jail forever. Your granddaddy just got out doing th goddamn 27 years. This what come with this shit. Mm -hmm. I ain't finna like, don't tell him that they granddaddy in jail. Don't tell him with this. No, tell how that shit went down. Tell that goddamn, that boy told on Dante. Mm -hmm. Let them Facts. folk know that. You need to Facts. hear this. Mm -hmm. Facts. Like all that, your friend shit and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So shit, at the end of the day, a nigga do all that shit as a young nigga, you get old enough. Now that shit started. You sat in the juvenile Same or thing. you it got, now nah, you know when they got out of juvenile, they still on, they wild. They were still mm -hmm. on the wild shit. Him and problem get locked up and shit. Okay, I ain't answer phone. Got him out, but I ain't answer phone. I'm gonna talk to y'all niggas in no jail shit. Mm -hmm. Cool, they get out, he get red. Okay, now you on some. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't with this shit. Mm -hmm. I'm finna got now. Now I'm finna try to move like a dun and think instead of a crash. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? That's the difference, bro. Mm -hmm. like, with all that being said, man, sometimes you can't hide it from these niggas if it's all they already on that. So you think that's yeah. that's 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 almost like. Probably the worst shit a parent can do is hide some shit from their kids. If you like shelter that. their children, yeah. yeah. But regardless, I mean, even if let's just say I can't say that though. What, what if it's I a, can't say that? What if it's you, a woman who is stripping and got a daughter? Yes, hide it. Hide it for sure. Hell yeah, yeah well, yes, hide you, it. You, you better she hide. You bitches anyway. hide it. unless you want she her to be find, no, 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 I'm saying she gonna find out. Yeah, she's she gonna, gonna find, find out. out. But when she find out, she'll be at a certain age resentment. where y'all can yeah, have that talk. Out, but no, what, what resentment I'm you gonna have from your mama shaking nah, nah, her ass taking care of you? It's training of the mind. She's gonna have resentment uh, if she finds out and wasn't told. No, you tell her at listen, a certain nah, age. Listen, it's a training of the mind. If she find out around twelve or thirteen, yeah. it's different. It's yeah, like I don't want to be that mama. Yeah, you're not telling. Yeah, you're not telling. Now she already don't know. Like three, four year old that shit. Yeah, you training her. She's four or five, and then she's making TikToks. Popping her ass. Yeah, that's not what doing you're four doing. Five year old. And that's what that's she what sees you I'm doing. Just that's saying, not right. Never say nothing about that shit. And then now we got the internet. We got documented shit. They are gonna find out. What but about if the you, porn? If you, you rather just find out, they rather find out from you than to find out from. What I'm trying to tell you, if when, if you see your little daughter already doing some little hot shit, you sit her down. You might as well go on and put on game. Yeah. Mm. Oh God. Because she already that. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, for but real. But if she seen like the little girl that's going to school, nice little girl, keep on that route. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm hmm. So when you bust it, then you get busted out. Everybody you be like, wanna know Mama had they, to do this so you could be on this route. Everybody try wanna, that move. Everybody yeah. know what want to know what they parent 
is dope. They could lie. What you mean? I can, I'm a nurse. She's a registered nurse. Scrubs. Yes, CNA. <laughs> Buy some scrubs. I'm a nurse yeah, at parents, night. Lie you was, you were a nurse, but what about this TikTok right here? This flyer say. But what about the porn birthday stars? Birthday bears, birthday set from so so By the time you that for age. For hot chocolate. For hot chocolate. <laughs> Listen, bro. By the time you that age. Your mind already done developed into what you wanted. What I was saying about little them, them niggas was round here. And oh, people yeah. People talk yeah. about your daddy this, your daddy that, your daddy this. So now you yeah. want to live up yeah, to yeah, this yeah, shit. I, I, as I, a living I, ass boy. Yeah. Yeah. I say I wasn't even connected to that. I'm, I was just saying the point I was trying to make is Anybody, you should be saying. honest with your kids, though. How? What, not not? No you cannot be all honest with your kids the whole time. That's I'm not talking fun. about. We gotta, I'm not talking about babies. We got. We got to. We got to set the age kids. limit. Bro. Yeah, what, what age, yeah, what age, age, what age, age can they start thinking on their own a little bit? Thirteen. 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 Yeah. Okay, thirteen. I'm Twelve. Thirteen. Yeah, I was thinking at like nine yeah, or ten. Nine, yeah. Thirteen, bro. Uh, nine or yeah. ten. I was saying thirteen. If you can keep them green to thirteen, you got them. Well, you know, keep me nine to ten. Keep them green to thirteen. Nine to ten, 10 years old. Keep them green. That's a slow. When it start you changing for you? That's a whole slow. You gonna tell me eight, nine, ten years old? You ain't start thinking about you bank. But it depends on what you had your parents around. That's what I'm saying. But listen, keep them green to thirteen. If I'm nine years old, if I'm nine years old, I'm seeing my cousin coming in the house, or running from the police. Ha ha ha! Now I'm looking like, damn, that's it. He got away. You know what I'm saying? Now I want to run from the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get away, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and my grandma opened the door. Come on, baby. What up is that? <laughs> well, this time of this, this isn't the shit. I need to be waved in this motherfucker. <laughs> well, what but if I that, never saw that? What if it's that nine-year-old girl that her mama ain't never at home at night? What you mean? I ain't never at home no night. What you, what, you gotta go? she I'm she talking at? about female shit, bro. Okay, what you Not, talking about? Her mama ain't never at home at night. What, she what you mean by that? I'm talking about her mama ain't never home from the hours of like 8 I p.m. Work. to 6 a.m. Bro, people mama do that. that, that she's mama, a nurse. Yeah, you, Again, she's you got a nurse. Work. Not stripper do that. Well, what happens when you find out? Find out what? That when? She doing, she a stripper. No, when? that's not. Okay, just when? because you're not. 10 years old. 10 no. years old, baby, you on, baby, I'm going to sit you down and give you the talk now. Okay, yeah. cool. You don't understand that's the sacrifice to, that I had to make for you. That's what I'm getting at. I but think that's, because that's, that's when true. she started because here, it's like, let's just put it on. I raised you. Look, the shit just happened to power. It's the, the shit that just happened to power. We were watching the power when Mary J lied to, uh, it was really her son and shit like that. You don't get all that shit. Yeah, that, yeah, but he just I don't know how I raised you, bro. Yeah, I she you. didn't raise, she raised him but as a school think, nigga. You don't think he's gonna have resentment He'll for the fact right. of how he found how? out? How he found out? It's not the fact that he found out; but it's how he found out. It depends right. on what's, what's inside of him. If it was me, what's inside of me gonna be looking like? I get it. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I see, this. like, you know, what I'm saying it depends on what's in you, bro. Yeah. And then she kept him away from the drug shit too. Huh? She kept, kept him away, away from, from the, the drugs. That's what I'm saying. It depends on what in you and how you raise me. I got you. So, yeah. so it's all gonna add up. If it, if if if, if I'm a, if if a female is a stripper, right? Mm -hmm. And she raised her daughter in private school. Like you got the best of the best. You don't, you don't have a reason to do this. Mm -hmm. But if I raise you as nah, poke your lip out how they do them and put filters <laughs> and shit on your pictures and I'm posting you. I'm training you to be well, what I am. Yeah, 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 let me ask yeah, a real but question. But if I'm not training you to be that, why, you're not gonna be that. Why why is there so many situations where that's the attempt. Raise the person up this way, and they still end up going. Because that way. they be already, they be exposed. It's whatever to, already to in them. Yeah. yeah, it's whatever in them too. It's whatever right. in them. It's whatever. We just in heard too. him made the example. He had them in the birds young, but it, like they say, sometimes shit just be in a motherfucker, yeah, not they on them. Because them niggas will go down like when we, but all right, we moved out there, but them niggas wasn't there. So look. <laughs> back to TV. I'm gonna take it about TV. The Canaan, the raising Canaan shit. When Canaan mom was like, "Fuck it, let's sell this crack then. Let me hear the gun. I'm, a, I'm you finna run with me, bro. You already done bust the nigga. Yeah, he was yeah, doing. Yeah. I'm about to go get right, you before right, you right. cry, man. Yeah, right. you already right. doing too much. Right. 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 come on, man. I'm out, man. This nigga already hard as fuck. That nigga hard. <laughs> right. You, wrong <laughs> you with already me. on that. Run with me. Yeah. How the hell am I finna go let you cry for somebody or some bullshit? Yeah. Yeah, like you can't deny his capabilities. Oh, you can't deny who he is. That's who he is. You can't deny. So what now you already did. Yeah. And now you gotta try to put principles in this nigga. Mm -hmm. Hey, the nigga, my brother, don't don't be out there with that nigga. He's a mm -hmm. fuck nigga. He's gonna get you killed. Okay. I, I, you gonna I, do this, I, I this how do you do this. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you can have a nigga get taught by the up. wrong motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Some shit you can teach him. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Like you don't take off your friends. Man, I'm just trying to understand it all because it's like a lot of people try real hard. They spend a lot of money. On their kids to yeah, be bro, one thing. Be all right. That's how these niggas. But they kid end up kids, being another thing. These kids that they, they grow, grow up in these rich parents, out. like, mm -hmm. be flipping out because it's all right. I got a demon in me, pop. That's yeah. how they dial them goddamn drugs and shit. Because you're trying to make it seem like drugs not real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why they want to experiment. No, this shit is real. 
Because yeah. they seem to tell you about this shit. Yeah. This is what this shit do. Mm-hmm. Instead of telling you that's bad. Yeah. And not explaining to you what this, all right, this shit is going to start off feeling good. Then it's going to become a habit. Then it's going to become a habit. You're going to have to afford. Mm-hmm. Because what I've learned, what I've learned too, is like when you're dealing with people and when yeah, like you, you have own it, you like, own it. get them off of it. Like when you're dealing with people and like when you're. Tr- what what conversation? About drugs with their kids. You got to. No, you definitely. I had a conversation. That, I had a conversation about twelve years old. But it's like, but it's like when you're dealing with, when you're dealing with kids. I, I be telling you. I'm sorry, my parents. I ain't nobody know. What's that smell? You, this is the smell. What's that about? This is what this, this is. The no, but conversation. I got a I just seen that shit. Yeah, like yeah, that's, that's part of the exactly. conversation. But see, it's like when you're when you're dealing with kids or whatever, and when you're trying to teach them certain shit, it's like when you're telling them that like. When you're telling them that shit is bad and when you're telling them don't do this and don't do that, that makes them want to do it even more because they're trying to see because what's so bad about it. Fact, like, like what's so wrong about curiosity. it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Curiosity. I just think you fact. you got to deal with the end game and, and the end result. It'd be even worse if you... My bad, Shreen. It'd be yeah. even worse when you're a hypocrite with it. Evil like, you see him telling... I'm seeing him telling like... Bro, goddamn, I'm seeing him telling a nigga like... I snort coke, but you snort the line. <laughs> or I'm telling him like, bro, yeah. that music... Bro, but you seeing how this shit making me act. <laughs> yeah, like, come yeah, on, bro. You on the same shit, yeah. Pete. <laughs> you on the same shit, I, bro. You you lying to me. Yeah, and then and your kids want to be and that you shit regardless. If you want to see it, it or not. don't be resentment, huh? So, I was yeah. saying your kids want to be like their parents, regardless if your parents that's you they first hero. Yeah, that's what you your first at. hero, they first love. So your parent, that's like kids. So who, t- mom is a crackhead. They still love her dirty draw. It's nothing that lady right. can do wrong to them. Right. Like, it's right. nothing they can do wrong. Like, kids going to still love and admire their parents regardless. So if you doing drugs, your kids, nine times out of ten, going to try to figure out what that shit is about. They either, one, going to hate it, or two, going to start doing it, too. That's, That's how kids say, start fucking us. early. Like, they be yeah. at home. You know what I'm saying? They don't be, they don't, might not, they might have a, like, an older sibling or some shit that's babysitting. They have a motherfucker come over doing homework, and then the homework gets finished and then they watching TV and then that shit leads to some other shit and then you look up a year later the bitches I mean the they pop up pregnant or they pop up you know what I'm saying like with a with, you know what I'm saying like with a disease or you know what I'm saying some shit like that and they still in middle school type shit like you ain't talk Brenda to him. cause you ain't talk to them you gotta yeah. tell them man. Man, you that's all I'm talking you gotta have you gotta have a conversation you gotta have them conversations that's the fears it. in your daughters Shit, make your daughter scared of you. Fear ain't gonna do it. I don't know if that fear shit. Fear ain't gonna do it. Fear ain't gonna do it. Fear does the opposite. Fear gonna do the opposite. You gotta make them feel. You gotta make them feel like y'all friends. Partner. Everybody's gonna be like, bro, you act like these niggas your buddies. Friends with boundaries. But they know what the boundaries is when you already stand on certain codes. Like Mm. them niggas, like you gotta make them feel like y'all friends enough. If they tell you some shit that hurts your heart, you gotta be able to take that shit a little bit to be able. To not be in your feelings and tell them how to go about this shit. Mm. Cause you can't stop thoughts. Right. Your little girl go to school at 11 years old, you can't stop. She got up here, you can't stop. Her little boyfriend that that we just finna goddamn skip all day. Shout out some pussy. He love me, he finna be 12 years old, he wants some pussy. Nothing else. (laughs) So you how you gonna skip skip her not the fuck? Right. At Crazy. 10, 11, your daughter shouldn't be nowhere to be able to fuck at 10, 11. What you mean, nigga fucking in school? What are you talking How about? How are you fucking in school at 10, 11? What are you talking it's about? World. Nigga, we were fucking in school back in my days. It's Decatur, Georgia. Ain't no nothing. Nah, nah. This yeah. shit ain't finna be fast. Middle school. Under nah. the bleach. Ain't even got nut. <laughs> nigga, as long as I can oh, say, I no. jigga, 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 a little bit, jigga, jigga. I'm getting closer and closer to getting it in now. Dog no. water. Dog no. water. <laughs> That's how this shit is, Dog water. I kissed Y'all need her to have a leash on these kids. I kissed huh? to the day. I got a leash on the kids. They're going to get off the gonna leash. Lock them in. Huh? If you're going to do that, huh? a leash on the kids, they're going to get off the leash. I mean, shit. I had a leash on me, but I was scared to be fucking and shit at that age. I'm like, sure you did, and I'm just saying, I'm sure all of us, I'm sure you did a lot of shit you weren't supposed to be doing. Granted, I oh, did, that, but I wasn't gonna out go here do fucking it. Ain't nobody going to stop you from doing it. Who's going to stop you from doing it? All them niggas who had the mean ass pump, like, unless you just had a mean ass crazy, like my grandma was crazy here. Unless you just had a mean ass. It's a different kind of mean, like your dad, like your dad up here at school. Get in the car. Them the ones who been hunching on the bleachers, them hoes. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, telling yeah, you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah. she can't spend the night nowhere. She ain't yeah, never yeah, like, yeah. and your dad be tripping. That nigga like, fuck, she ready. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. nigga climbing your butt, breaking his leg shit, and everything. She ain't supposed to be, she ain't even doing. Yeah, because he too strict. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Preacher's daughters. 
Preacher oh son. It's a way to do that shit, but I can't tell nobody else how to raise their kids. So I ain't trying yeah, to raise the kids. You want to raise the kids. way you want to raise how they turn out is gonna be how on you. On you. So yeah. I'm saying, but I know I mean, my past experience. Everybody who had the mean ass dad, the mean ass shit. Them niggas, them niggas got them. He doing some crazy shit, crashing. All kinds of shit, bro. Junkies. Smoking dope, like yeah. all kinds of shit. Niggas who had all the bikes and shit back in the day, man. Them niggas, that shit be crazy, bro. Yeah. yeah. I like, yeah, bro. Yeah. We come, our shit third world. You know what I'm saying? Like the neighborhood shit, bro. I know everybody should feel like that to come out of the shit. Be like a third world country when you actually start seeing different shit. Mm -hmm. So you got to put yourself in that position. You got to put yourself in that mind frame when when you see that shit. Like, I know what they think. Instead of like, now you think different. You think like, a nigga shouldn't think like that. Right. Yeah. Get you some help, son. That's what I'm going to tell you. Start telling you. Get some help. Read your book. Like, talk to somebody. Or listen to Big Facts. I'm going to start talking to these <laughs> niggas like, like Joe Clark on Lean On Me. No, for real. <laughs> you be dead in a year, son. <laughs> dead in a year. You smoke crack, don't you? Very <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Joe Clark, these nigga ass. Nah, for real shit. He no dead man. in a year, son. <laughs> Fuck nah, you doing? I'm telling you, bro. Like Crazy, man. And then, get what? I ain't no nigga saying, like, I ain't a nigga who was lost. Mm -hmm. I'm still on navigation trying to get there. I'm still looking. Yeah, big fan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was totally didn't even have no navigation at first. Now I got a destination like, <laughs> I ain't there, but... I ain't there either. You know where you want to yeah, go. Yeah. You, you know get what I'm saying? Because yeah. I knew the way a nigga was thinking, like, that shit is foul. Bro. That goes mm -hmm. back to the unlearning and relearning process. Yeah, we bro. Still, like, shit don't even, we still the unlearning. The shit that you think a nigga's supposed to uphold, it be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, real shit, how you going to be? It's toxic. Some of it. Shit a lot of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of that it's shit toxic. 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 No, nah, it's toxic. But yeah, that's yeah. what it is, though. Because you can grow up in a household, right? Mm-hmm. And this shit trickles down, and your family is just toxic. Yeah. But you love your family to death, and you ain't looking at that shit as nothing. But you create no same habits within yourself. Yeah, you 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 with whatever they with. You got to exactly. think about the little kid who got them was walking home from school regular. Like his family some bullshit, but he still the nigga trying trying his best. And like this nigga hit him. This brother finna graduate. Mm -hmm. the hood look out for him. Like man, this nigga finna graduate. Look out for him. Yeah. That, how many of those it was in the hood? That yeah. took that nerd ass nigga. Who, how many of those it was? Two, mm. three. Yeah. Yeah. Cause everybody else gonna fall victim to the pressure. I gotta get my own money, man. We po. How many niggas gonna go to school with they shoe like that? How many niggas gonna take that joint all day and be smart as fuck for real? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like that yeah. shit is crazy, bro. What the sit the situation a nigga be in. And in your household, all you ever seen niggas handle that shit is handle that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answer to everything. Real you know, shit. Really. That's all you ever seen. So how you finna goddamn do something different? Yeah. Unless you different, you gotta be chosen, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't. That's what they would nigga need to tell the young. You can't be a, afraid to be chosen, bro. Mm. Mm. Or afraid to be different. Yeah. Or afraid to live in your gift. Yeah, but exactly because at the end of the day, nobody knew that was Jesus or whoever, whoever, whatever that they, whoever been a chosen person in this world that we look at. Jay Z. Mm -hmm. Them niggas mm -hmm. in, in Marshall Project didn't know they were walking with Jay Z. Oh God. Yeah. 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 You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He only knew he was Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And God, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so you you can't, you can't never, ever, 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 ever scared to be chosen, bro. Mm -hmm. And he probably has some niggas along the way trying to discourage him from being Jay-Z. Because everything you got when you in the hood, everything that you got of value is going to be devalued if a nigga ain't got it. Mm -hmm. You don't see mm -hmm. niggas got down, look at you like, Cause you got a mama, mama boy ass nigga. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you got a dad, bro. You got it easy. Mm -hmm. So now you try to downplay that and create something in your mind like they ain't there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's the chosen that's one. Bad. Yeah. That facts like this shit is crazy. It's like your mind is fucked. Mm -hmm. Everything that's right is wrong. Everything that's wrong is right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like a nigga, like you can, you can, a nigga, a nigga, something can happen. Some bullshit can happen, right? Shit going on. And a nigga might be like, hey. Close the door. You let that nigga try you like that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You let that nigga try you like that? They in your comment the whole time. You let that nigga try you like that? Then you go nut up. Get you some smoke. Now that nigga stupid ass didn't even go to jail. 
God damn, what one? What? That's what? exactly what the fuck they gonna say. This nigga stupid ass. Yeah. What one do you do? The same nigga that was revving you up, they gonna they gonna call one of your pops. Shit, man, oh man, shout out, just crashed out, man. That nigga, that nigga dumb ass, as nigga. fuck, dumb ass nigga. Exactly, bro. Same nigga that was telling you, man, you, man, you, you. And you, then you, the, you gonna go out? You gonna let that day, nigga do that? He clicked these day, they got it. Like it too much, you got a battle. Okay, you got one nigga, one group, one one part of their group playing gangster. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Then you get into it, they gangsta. Then you got the other group who finna make sure you go to jail. Right, like it's 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 it's, it's, too, it's too much. It's too much. No it's too win. much. No win. How you gonna win? Yeah. Like y'all got the gangsters and the police. This shit ain't gonna. This shit ain't gonna add up to nothing for nobody. Ever. Yeah. So you gotta ignore that shit until you have to face it. Mm -hmm. You see me, you play on gun your head down. That's just the bottom line. Any nigga. Mm -hmm. That's how you supposed to feel. Defense at all times. If you see me, you play. I gotta protect myself. I don't give a fuck who it is. Mm -hmm. It can be goddamn Luferingo, whoever. I got to hell on my business. But I can't yeah. go out there. Looking for some shit. Yeah, no, because that put me in the wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That just go back to I can't earlier. entertain that shit. Whatever you feeding. You know what I'm saying? You can't feed on that. Facts. You know what I mean? Because that Facts. shit going to put you in a position to where it might not even be your time to crash. I tell a nigga all the time, when it's my time to crash, boy, I'm going to be the biggest crash dumb you ever motherfucker. <laughs> hey, ever yeah. motherfucking seen. No, we gonna do I it know big. when it's my time to crash. You feel what I'm saying? I'm One, two, three, three about it. You ain't even got to go looking for it. That exactly. shit going to come for you. Yeah. So it like, so if it's, it's for you, it's for you. Yeah, so it like a lot of niggas, uh, a lot of niggas, uh, they'll fuck their whole timing up because you'll be on let a situation rev you up and you be done fed into the wrong energy mm -hmm. to where really it wasn't even time for you to goddamn go do no time, bro. Stupid ass nigga. Goddamn a million dollars was just coming around the corner. You done got down fed into this shit and, and, and allowed yourself to let another nigga energy possess you. Because really all that shit is spirits. Facts. Mm. All that shit is spirits. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother topic. Because nigga ain't hurting that. Nigga ain't did them hurt a nigga feeling. At the end of the day, all this shit that be going on, a nigga, like, we be like, how that shit started? A nigga, I just started telling the truth. That nigga hurt my feelings. Ooh. But men not going to do that. I'm just saying, ain't no other, what else is it, unless it's a bitch? Now, you mm. know, it could be a bitch. Nine times out of ten, that's what it is. But <laughs> it turn around to be the B. The Lord one time out of feelings. feelings. shit you see. Yeah. Mm. How else is the shit started? Mm. A grown man not going to tell another grown man. Right. No, I'm saying not not feelings. another grown man, not tell that, that person. They're not gonna I'm say it, but like, that's the reason. Let's say, man, if I'm telling you right now, I hate this nigga, shy. I'm ooh, I see the nigga, ooh, ooh. and you say what happened. I'm gonna say what happened after. <laughs> I'm convincing you that right. You know, so I ain't gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> what really yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah. What really happened was well, that nigga hurt my feelings. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. We don't make we don't took some hurt feelings into a war. Oh yeah, because after the nigga that hurt my feelings, then I went off and went crazy, and then when I went off and went crazy on the nigga, then the nigga shot my house up. But I'm kicking it like the reason we at this nigga is because this nigga shot my house up. Facts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That yeah, is. he hurt my feelings, so I hurt his feeling back. Cause uh, words ain't never hurting a nigga feeling. Yeah. Oh, God. yeah. Like you, you hurt my feelings, I hurt your feeling back. You hurt my feelings, I hurt your feeling back. Then you embarrass me. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta do some. When I do some, now goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when it come down to it, it's gonna be like. That nigga tried me. That's yeah. what the answer is. Mm. Mm. How? Did nigga yeah. touch you? When the real issue is, the, the nigga go in your house, the nigga emotions. violate you. Mm. Did nigga violate? Did the nigga touch you? Did the nigga put a hand on you? Did the nigga play with your kid? Did nigga go in your house? Did the nigga take anything from you? What if it's yes to one of them? If it's yes to one of them, then it, that's your time to crash. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, it's yeah that's a deadly thing. That's your time to crash. If it that, then it that. But I'm saying, like, you ain't did shit to me. Mm -hmm. But make me feel some kind of way. Okay, now you'll make me feel some kind of way. Hey, man, a nigga, uh, men make women feel some type of way. Women oh, make men yeah, feel Yeah, that's some the lady of a nigga. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you let another nigga make you feel some type of way. Mm -hmm. You might want to lay down with him. About Ooh. yourself. Real shit. You make <laughs> another nigga make you feel some type of way. How? Bait just hurt a lot of people. <laughs> no, nah, because I done did that. I done let niggas make me feel some type of way, bro. Yeah. Uh. But when I think about it, like, what that nigga, what uh, what little, what little tilt son say? That shit is embarrassing. Oh mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I let yeah. you get me mad. like you can get game from the youngest niggas. Now, I don't know why these old niggas be trying to look like, <laughs> bro. Shit, all I do, you young niggas be putting me up on it like you nah. tripping. Nah, yeah. for real. Yeah. All yeah. the time, all them niggas call me. Only one call in, they call me, and you tripping. Yeah. And they knowing I'm receiving it. Mm. Say less. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a new day and time. 
Yeah. You stand on this old ass shit that don't uh, that don't <laughs> register in 2022. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You nigga, blow your ass down, OG. <laughs> OG. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. OG. <laughs> So I'm picking this shit up as I drop it. <laughs> yeah. Real nigga Big shit. Facts. That's the thing. Nah, but for real, if you let another man, he really, so he can turn you on. What? If a nigga start playing with your emotions, <laughs> okay. he can if turn nigga, you yeah, on. If a nigga can turn you off, then he can turn you Come on, P. If a nigga make you drop upset. Drop that shit, bank. If a nigga make you upset enough that you uh-huh. ready to throw the rest of your life away. He got you emotional. He got you emotional. emotional. Yeah. He can turn you on. Ooh. Damn. He can control you. That's a fact. Damn. Now nah, I give you that. Damn. Mm. Am I right or wrong? Mm. Emotions. You got the light switch. I mean, emotions a motherfucker, bro. You know how many niggas in the in the in the in the ground right now and all that shit and fucked up. Yeah. Fuck mm. that. Niggas is broke, dead, and in jail behind emotions. Big facts. facts. Mm. I think that's ninety percent of the people in jail. Nah, I'm just saying, like, yeah, yeah, because you made me feel a way that I had to do this. Yeah. Like, like we just said, now you do any of those, you gonna put me in my emotion to fuck all this shit, bank talking about. Yeah. On this big fat. No, you gonna put me in my emotion where I ain't got no choice but to do it. Yeah. Right. That's what it is. Like, I ain't ain't no nothing else because I'm a man. Mm-hmm. But if I can let your words put me in a place that I want to say, fuck everything else but that. Mm. You could do anything to me. Mm-hmm. That's real. You own me. Mm-hmm. That's real. Yeah. You right. own me. I own you. Nigga, I just made you feel away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't already <laughs> throw away my, crazy. my motherfucking life about it. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, g- great information on Big Facts Friday. Uh, all publicity is definitely publicity. Good publicity, bad publicity. Don't be afraid to be the no, chosen we went off one. That topic. Don't no. Don't be afraid to be the chosen one. That's nah. That's real shit. Though. Real you can't, bro. Right. You can't because you're trying to downplay yourself to make another nigga feel. That's just like Michael Jordan on the court trying to got them mm-hmm. keep passing to this nigga because they're my friend. Oh yeah. You take the shot when I know I'm finna this shit. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing? With dunk. It? I'm throwing your alley. You missing it. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to throw the alley to you because. No, nah, hell no, nah, nigga, I'm next. How many times we done did that, though? Yeah, but I'm, yeah, exactly, but I'm you know next. What I'm saying? These folks want to see me. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Mm-hmm. We all done threw alley right. to, alley oops to motherfuckers because we know, you know what I mean, we trying to look out and nine times a ten, they missing the, missing the shot, missing the shot, missing the blessing, missing the blessing. Nah, because you can love a motherfucker, well, not love, I ain't even going to say love. You can see some of the motherfucker that, he can't see in himself. Self, yeah. Exactly. So you, when you see that, but you don't, and, and you don't see in yourself. Mm. Like I could be looking at screen like, damn, screen got damn tall. He woo 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 woo. We need to let screen face be this. Mm. He need to got damn go in there and talk to him for. He, but damn, you just gonna take, you gonna take away. But they keep on saying like, bank, bank, we need you to bank, we need you. But I'm trying to put you. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Like, nah, go, go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you, you afraid to be chosen? Because it don't matter how you deliver it. You think he finna deliver it, mm-hmm. yeah. how it should be delivered. It don't matter how you deliver it, they want it. Mm-hmm. Right. Right. You all seen that shit. I seen niggas be the most talented rapper. Like, you might have two rappers signed to a label. This nigga, he a talented as fuck. He mm-hmm. the one. This nigga come out and drop that. Mm-hmm. One song. It's up. <laughs> it's up. Now he the one one. Mm-hmm. Now you got this nigga looking at this nigga like. Mm. They chose him? <laughs> I'm the one. I thought I was the one. Yeah. We thought you were the one. Right. Yeah. You were the Until one. Until the one came. But this man is chosen. Ooh. Now Until you're the, the two. one came. That's Des- <laughs> destined to be this. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. destined, bro. Yeah. 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 We can try to push you to, to make you do whatever. Y'all done seen this shit, man. <laughs> times after times after times. Labels, independent labels, major labels. They have this big artist. They put they, they put $10 million in Indian campaign. This shit all in Times Square, everything. This shit does. They put one million in this nigga, this nigga the biggest artist ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It happens all the time. Mm-hmm. Nigga ain't think Drake was finna be Drake. Mm-hmm. Facts. Kanye was finna be Kanye. You finna do beats forever, King. <laughs> ah, nigga looking at that shit like you finna do beats forever. Yeah. Baby, they wasn't even no rapper. Mm-hmm. He just was chosen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, facts. Soon you start your first song, money in the only fucking notch. We fucking with that. <laughs> he knew he wasn't in it bad yet, but he still probably thinking like, bro, I need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, bro, you chosen, King. Mm-hmm. 
Every crew that got a nigga that popped off, it was somebody else that they we believed in before we believed in you. Mm, Guaranteed. 100%, 100% of the time. Damn. Guaranteed. It never be the shit. It be the one who is chosen, bro. Mm. I don't know. You can't buy that. And the chosen one is always usually unexpected. You mm-hmm. can't buy that, bro. It's destiny. We can do whatever. We can put you on a song with this person. Put this motherfucker. Let you perform at the Super Bowl <laughs> <laughs> with Jesus and Jay Z jumping around. <laughs> if them folks don't want it, they don't want it. Yeah. Can't force it. Mm-hmm. I don't give a damn what you do, but guess what? Everybody's chosen to do something. It, there you go. Find what you were chosen to Some, do. Everybody's chosen to do something, fool. Yeah, exactly. Just cause we in this lane and they ain't got down really. Hey man, hey, c- bro. I'm tell you, bro. I just to me, I just know this shit because I, don't, I pass up on so much shit. Right. You get what I'm saying? I guess it's a feeling you get. I pass up on so much shit, bro. All kind of shit, movies, club dates, all this shit. I gotta. That shit gotta hit me when I hit. Mm-hmm. Like, oh hell yeah, yeah. I guess that's a gift. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause we ain't striking out. On time we strike out, we fuck with niggas. We do shit. This shit to prevail. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But when a nigga trying to, like, every idea ain't a good idea for you. Yeah. It may be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, that shit gonna work. Because if you ain't got your all in it, it ain't gonna work. Right. But you put your all okay. in some shit that ain't for you, and that still ain't gonna work. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna manifest. Mm-hmm. Real shit, bro. Like, so shit. Nigga, you know, you know, like, and I can't. I can't say that it ain't going to never work, but it ain't going to work as quick as for what you're chosen for. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Because you can yeah. stay down for 15 years and make a hit, and then, shit, he stayed down. But within them 15 years, you probably could have got them, had 75 trucks on the road. Mm-hmm. Made you way more money than you finna go make off when you finally made that hit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Am I right or wrong? No, you're, no, you're right. You're right. Let's do it, man. Take that. Rado, we appreciate you pulling up Big Facts Friday. Yes, sir. Always a, Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Honorary memo, man. Yeah. <laughs> Big Facts Friday, www.bigfactspod.com. Salute, salute. You're listening to Big Facts with Big Bank and DJ Scream.